In physics, the Lamb shift, named after Willis Lamb, is a small difference in energy between two energy levels 2s1/2 and 2p1/2 of the hydrogen atom in quantum electrodynamics. According to the Dirac equation, the 2s1/2 and 2p1/2 orbitals should have the same energy. However, the interaction between the electron and the vacuum causes a tiny energy shift which is different for states 2s1/2 and 2p1/2. Lamb and Robert Rutherford measured this shift in 1947, and this measurement provided the stimulus for renormalization theory to handle the divergences. It was the harbinger of modern quantum electrodynamics developed by Julian Schwinger, Richard Feynman, Ernst Stuckelberg and Sinichiro Tomonaga. Lamb won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1955 for his discoveries related to the Lamb shift. Derivation This heuristic derivation of the electrodynamic level shift following Welton is from quantum optics. The fluctuation in the electric and magnetic fields associated with the QED vacuum perturbs the electric potential due to the atomic nucleus. This perturbation causes a fluctuation in the position of the electron, which explains the energy shift. The difference of potential energy is given by since the fluctuations are isotropic, so we can obtain the classical equation of motion for the electron displacement k induced by a single mode of the field of wave vector k and frequency nu is. And this is valid only when the frequency nu is greater than nu zero in the Bohr orbit, nu greater than pi c a zero. The electron is unable to respond to the fluctuating field if the fluctuations are smaller than the natural orbital frequency in the atom. For the field oscillating at nu, therefore, with, where is some large normalization volume, by the summation overall, the summation is changed into an integral because of the continuity of k, so that, this result diverges when no limits about the integral. As mentioned above, this method is expected to be valid only when nu greater than pi c a0, or equivalently k greater than pi a0. It is also valid only for wavelengths longer than the Compton wavelength, or equivalently chi less than m c h. Therefore we can choose the upper and lower limit of the integral and these limits make the result converge for the atomic orbital and the Coulomb potential, since we know that, for p orbitals, the non-relativistic wave function vanishes at the origin, so there is no energy shift. But for s orbitals there is some finite value at the origin, where the Bohr radius is. Therefore, finally, the difference of the potential energy becomes, where is the fine structure constant? This shift is about 1 GHz, very similar with the observed energy shift. Experimental work In 1947 Willis Lamb and Robert Rutherford carried out an experiment using microwave techniques to stimulate radio frequency transitions between 2s1/2 and 2p1/2 levels of hydrogen. By using lower frequencies than for optical transitions the Doppler broadening could be neglected. The energy difference Lamb and Rutherford found was a rise of about 1000 MHz of the 2s1/2 level above the 2p1/2 level. This particular difference is a one-loop effect of quantum electrodynamics and can be interpreted as the influence of virtual photons that have been emitted and reabsorbed by the atom. In quantum electrodynamics the electromagnetic field is quantized and, like the harmonic oscillator in quantum mechanics, its lowest state is not zero. Thus, there exist small zero-point oscillations that cause the electron to execute rapid oscillatory motions. The electron is smeared out and the radius is changed from R to R plus delta R. The Coulomb potential is therefore perturbed by a small amount and the degeneracy of the two energy levels is removed. The new potential can be approximated as follows. The Lamb shift itself is given by with k around 13 varying slightly with n, and with k a small number. For a derivation of delta a lamb c for example, lamb shift in the hydrogen spectrum. In 1947, Hans Bethe was the first to explain the lamb shift in the hydrogen spectrum, and he thus laid the foundation for the modern development of quantum electrodynamics. 
The LAM shift currently provides a measurement of the fine structure constant alpha to better than one part in a million, allowing a precision test of quantum electrodynamics. Our different perspective relates Zitterbergung to the LAM shift.